here. It is finally peak week. It is Saturday and um, Saturday is the first day of peak week leading into next Saturday, which is going to be prejudging. So with that being said, I wanted to do a quick video and an introduction into my entire peak week going into the Puerto Rico Pro. And I think that this is a great opportunity for all of you to see what peak week looks like for me. Also, so that you guys can learn so that when you go into peak week, you kind of know what you're doing and, um, and maybe you could use some of my techniques so that you can peak well for your show. So right now, as you can see, I'm using a, a gimbal for the first time and it's uh, tracking me. It's kind of cool. Uh, I do apologize. I'm still trying to get familiar with this gimbal, but uh, without further ado, I wanted to just again go over what my peak week my peak week strategy is and we're going to go day by day on documenting each part of my peak week leading into the show. So me and Andrew, my coach me and Andrew Vu have a very interesting relationship. Not only are we best of friends, uh, but we also are very in tune with the way that we diet for a show. Uh, I think that's what makes us very successful and has made us successful in the past and is also showing this time as well is that we are able to bounce ideas around and uh, it always seems like we're on the same page. Um, when we came up with this peak week protocol, we wanted a couple things to be put out there in the open so that we were both on the same page. One of them being that we didn't want to do anything drastic. We wanted to keep everything as the same as possible that we are currently doing now. It's almost like a delicate flower. You don't want to overwater it and you don't want to overexpose it to sun. Just enough sun, just enough water. It's so delicate that it will either sway one way or sway the other could dramatically uh, uh, diminish the health of the flower. And we wanted to use kind of that same concept with this peak week. We don't want to shock the body with anything that it's not used to. Different foods, uh, uh, too much water, uh, added sodium, uh, uh, depleting sodium, any one of those factors, we wanted to keep it as normal as possible that we've been doing this whole entire time. And that goes back to the topic that you need to be in shape ahead of time. So that you don't have to do any of this hocus pocus stuff at the end. Not saying that sometimes it doesn't work, but a lot of the times it is a Hail Mary. Okay? Um, so you wanna keep it simple. Now, the goal of peak week, especially for a classic competitor like myself, is gearing towards the weigh-in. I have to do everything this week leading into the weigh-in because no matter what, if I don't weigh in the weight that I need to be for my height, I'm not competing. Or I'd have to do 212, which I don't wanna do. So every day is geared towards dropping pounds on the scale while maintaining somewhat of a decent look without going overboard and timing it properly, not losing 20 pounds in one day, timing it as best as possible, pacing ourselves as best as possible so that when the day comes, we're still eating, we're still drinking, leading into the weigh-in. That's in a perfect world, obviously. Um, so these are the different, this is the strategy that we are going to take. I'm going to go over it with you. And, uh, you know, this is, maybe this is going to sound weird to you guys. Not weird, but this is the way that we're going to do it. So right now what we're following, our normal diet sequence right now is 
two days of zero carbs. Now, when I say zero, I really don't mean zero because a lot of different condiments and stuff like that. And some people like to count vegetables. I don't count vegetables uh, as carbs. Uh, those are trace carbs. So I kind of labeled it in my book as trace, like a trace day, because I'm not adding any additional carbs to my meals. I'm not adding rice. I'm not adding any complex carbs or anything like that. But the little carbs that I do get are from like little things like condiments and, and you know, if you're going to count vegetables and stuff like that. So what we do is we do one high day and then two trace days. One high day and two trace days. And we've been doing this for about two weeks to a week and a half with really good results. Um, the high day is basically what my normal diet was before we started carb cycling. So if my normal diet was every single day was 300 grams of carbs, that would now be my high day. And now we have two days preceding that high day that are trace days. They're very difficult when you go up and down like that, especially the first couple times. It was, uh, it was pretty, pretty tough. Um, so that's a sequence that we're doing it in. So I have it written out Wednesday, almost like a week and a half before the show, we already had the sequence going on. So that Wednesday I was doing a high day and I was only drink, I was drinking about a gallon and a half of water. Thursday, trace. Friday, trace. Both of them are a gallon and a half. Today is Saturday, seven days prior to the show. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start cutting protein in half, especially on the high carb day. On the trace day, we're going back to our normal protein count. But on the high carb day, we're cutting our protein in half. Now you're asking me, why the hell would you cut your protein in half? Okay, so a couple of reasons why. One, proteins used to build muscle and blah, 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 all this stuff. Yes, that, I know that. But when you're this close to a show, you're really not gonna be losing any muscle mass or gaining any muscle mass. And especially if you're running anabolics, you're not gonna be losing any muscle mass or anything like that. Protein's kind of there almost to keep you satiated so that you're not starving. But unfortunately, this is fucking bodybuilding. This is the IFBB that we're talking about. These are pro shows. So if you're gonna be hungry, for a week, then you're gonna have to be hungry for a week. I've been hungry for months. Uh, so a week is not gonna be too bad. And the, and the way that we're gonna cut is like, let's say for instance, I was eating eight ounces of meat per meal. We cut that in half. Now it's four ounces of meat per meal with carbs in every single meal. This is for the high day. Now, that is uh, that when you compile it, let's say, let's say you're eating six meals a day and you're cutting three ounces of meat per meal, or, or let's say you're cutting four ounces, four ounces of meat per meal. All right, six times four is 24. So that's 24 ounces every single day that you're cutting out of your diet and you're, and you're not digesting all that either. Do the math, you know? 24 times three, that's a couple pounds of food that you're not gonna be processing in your body, making it much easier for you to lose weight, going into a weigh-in. Yes, yes, it does make sense, I know, I know. I wouldn't recommend this for the whole prep, but I'd recommend this for something that you have to weigh in for. Now, today, like I said, today is Saturday, seven days before the show, we're gonna cut protein in half and we're gonna do the 300 grams of carbs that I've been doing on my high day like I have been regularly. This is gonna help me now digest food much better because I don't have to digest an additional four ounces of meat per meal. We're not going to load water today because of the carbs. We don't wanna start trying to make up for the water retention so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep it at 1.5 gallons like I've been doing normally. Now tomorrow is Sunday. Trace carbs. 
Monday, trace carbs. On those two trace days, we are gonna increase by two and a half gallons. So two and a half gallons total each day for water. That'll be our load. That'll be our water load, okay? Nothing, nothing crazy yet. Still everything pretty, pretty regular to me. Tuesday, leading into the show. Now we're going into something called moderate days. Moderate days are gonna be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Four days of moderate, okay? So four days of moderate, what the hell does that mean? Moderate days, what we're gonna label those as is still cutting protein in half, four ounces per meal. And the moderate days, instead of doing what we did in the high carb days, which is carbs in every single meal, six meals, we're gonna just do three meals. So half of my meal count for the day is going to be carbs. The other half is not gonna be carbs. Now the three meals that I'm gonna choose to have carbs in is gonna be my morning meal, my pre-workout meal, and my uh, post-workout meal. Morning, pre-workout, post-workout. Those are gonna have 50 grams of carbs each, totaling 150 grams, which is half of my high day. Why am I doing it that way again? So we have four days of moderate. Four days of moderate, that's 150, right? 150 times four. That's 600 grams of carbs total spread out throughout four days leading into prejudging. There's no need to load crazy when you're compiling that much, that many grams of carbs on the course of those many days spread out. Before I was doing 300 grams every third day. So going into my fourth day, I was doing another 300, which is 600. So it's, again, it's very close. The totals are very close, except now it's spread out evenly every single day versus a huge day and then two zero days. A huge day and then two zero days. Now it's just kind of across the board. Very, very easy to follow. Okay. Proteins in half. Moderate days are in play. Four days in a row. Sunday, Monday were the trace days, two and a half gallons. Tuesday, moderate day, two gallons. Wednesday, moderate day, two gallons. Thursday, I fly in to Puerto Rico. We're dropping the water down to one gallon with a moderate day. Now again, this is all so that I can make weight. Depending on what I weigh that night, which is the following day, which is Friday is the weigh-in, I might take a quarter of a diazide. My plan is to hopefully not to, but if I do, I would rather take a quarter of a diazide than have to kill myself the next morning to do cardio. I need to rest my legs. You need to, cons you need to not beat up your body those last couple days. So, again, we might have to drop a quarter of a diazide. Again, hopefully we don't, but if we do, that's not so bad because we weigh in Friday at around 2 p.m. We will rehydrate after the weigh-in, about another gallon, and then we'll still be on a moderate day and we will not drop another diuretic going into prejudging. So we would drop a diuretic to make weight but we will not drop a diuretic to peak for the show. What we will do is we will drink a little bit of vodka. And why would we drink a little bit of vodka? Well, some of you that follow me on social media, you know that I am a big drinker in the off season. And even when I am prepping, I do drink quite a bit. Uh, this is not a good thing, but the good thing that comes about it is I know what I look like the next morning. And I have seen that being 
dehydrated from vodka is a much different look entirely than being dehydrated off of a diazide. I look much different. I look much fuller. I still have veins everywhere. So we're trying to use that as a, as a reference point on drying out further going into the show. And if I know anything about anything, I know that when you pop a diazide, you have a lot of things going on with sodium in your kidneys, etc. When you drink alcohol, I don't think it's that excessive when it comes down to dumping sodium out of your body. And the whole point of this is so that I can get a pump backstage when I go to pump up. If I don't have sodium in my system, if I'm too dehydrated, I will not get a pump. Diazide tends to do that to me. Going into the pre-judging, we will probably inevitably have to hydrate a little bit in the morning through coffee or a little bit of water with my meal. And, uh, and yeah, and that's about it. Now, one thing that I did not cover is what are my carb sources going into these moderate days and these high days. I've completely eliminated rice already. So all I'm sticking to is rice cakes and cream of rice. The Gerber brand, as you guys know that I love the Gerber brand. These are the two carb sources that I will be using. These are the two carb sources that I've been using the entire prep. These are the two carb sources that I will not change. They digest well. And another thing that's out of the ordinary is I am not gonna cut protein powder. I do protein powder with my cream of rice and it sits well in my stomach and I don't get farty and bloated. And I'm gonna keep that in there. I'm not gonna change that. I'm not gonna change something that is working fine and it's keeping my stomach nice and tight. So I will keep protein powder in. I will probably eat protein powder the morning of the show with my cream of rice and Splenda and cinnamon and salt because I put salt on all my meals. I don't cut sodium. That's a whole other topic about cutting sodium. I don't cut sodium. I don't limit sodium. I keep it all the same. Okay. So my gimbal right now is telling me that it's a uh, pre week. <laughs> I got to put it on the charger. But as I mentioned, this is just an intro to the seven days out. If I'm not mistaken, this is uh, going to be labeled seven, seven days out peak week. Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yes, seven days out. The last day is game day. So I'll be documenting, like I said, throughout the day and I'll be posting daily like I did before for the Arnold. Seven days out, six days out, so on and so forth. You know, you could find me on, on IG if you have any questions, but just keep in mind, I'm not gonna be able to get to everybody. I tried to, but don't get mad at me, please. If you really have a question, email me. And if you really want, a, 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 you know, guidance, hire me. I do coach. I can only give so much free advice to everybody. It took me years to learn all this stuff, okay? If you really want to learn, you should start Googling some stuff and doing your own research. And then you cross-reference with a reliable source. But I can only give so much free information out there until I start asking for a return, okay? So with that being said, this is, uh, this is the peak week outline. Hope you guys enjoyed it. There'll be more to come. Subscribe and, uh, and click like if you like what you see. Peace. So this is what meal one looks like on High Carb Day. Uh, 60 grams of cream of rice Gerber brand with 100 grams of frozen berries and one scoop of 
protein isolate and I mix it all up, I put it in the microwave. It's absolutely delicious and this is usually what I eat for my carb source is cream of rice. The Gerber brand, it has to be the Gerber brand. And I'll add a little bit of Splenda and some uh, cinnamon and also some salt with that. So this is meal one on my high carb day. So here's part of my meal two, which is gonna be four ounces of steak, which is cut down from my usual, I think it's uh, six to seven ounces and some green beans just to get me by. Uh, there's gonna be four rice cakes attached to this uh, meal. That's part of, again, this is part of my high carb day. So here we have it. This is, uh, this is meal two. So for some of you that have been following me for a while or have not been following me for a while, um, I do other things other than bodybuilding as far as money goes and jobs. So I own a electronic repair store out here in Miami, which I'm currently in the process of selling so that I can concentrate 100% of my time into the Paragon brand and the Waste Taper brand. Uh, it's blown up thanks to you guys and interest thanks to you guys. And uh, now I need to move on and actually put my full effort into that brand. Uh, speaking of other brands, I got a nice little package from Jed North. Uh, I was with Young LA uh, before actually for almost a year. Uh, very good brand too, very good brand. Um, you know, sometimes you just have to move on into other things. I haven't moved on to anybody else, but uh, they were nice enough and kind enough to send me something. This is actually from Young LA, which again, I love their stuff. Another thing is, is that I, I don't know if you guys know that I have been holding a road to 100K contest. And this road to 100K contest, all you have to do is follow my uh, page, the Paragon Waste Taper page, and also comment on, <laughs> on the post with three people, three people that you get wasted with, you know, waste, wasted, waste taper, all that good stuff. Uh, and you win a free waste taper once a uh, the next thousand people, um, my page hits the next thousand people. Now the grand prize for all those people, there's eight winners of the waste tapers and those eight winners then get put into a raffle for, yep, a free pair of Beat headphones. And as I mentioned before, they are free and they're part of the raffle and I keep my promises when I say it. So you get a free pair of Beats headphones. I've had a pair of Beats headphones since they came out and, uh, and I love mine. I love mine. Some people may think I look like a douchebag with them on, but uh, <laughs> put them on and you tell me how the music sounds and how your workout goes with them. So if you're not participating in that, I suggest that you do because it is fucking awesome to have a pair of Beats headphones and also to win a free waist taper. It's also very cool. And if you're watching this for the first time, um, I created this waist taper brand about two years ago and it isn't until recently that it started blowing up. And, uh, this is again this is my electronic repair store and it's now the hub of my waste taper operation as well uh soon i'd have to, i'm gonna have to move out of this makeshift headquarters and actually be in a warehouse where i could fulfill my orders to you guys and when i started out as one color it was the it was actually black and white Being right with you you see the stores going on as, as I'm vlogging. This is as real as it gets. And um, it started out one color and then it expanded to the gray camo. And now there's gray camo, pink camo, uh, red camo. There's the murdered out edition. There's the green camo. 
uh, and I've expanded pretty drastically and trying to be aggressive in this market. Um, there's other things that are brewing at the moment that I wish I can share with you guys, but I can't at the moment, but really big things are happening this year for the Paragon line, and I'm very excited about it. Very excited. So you guys saw what my meal was. My meal was the four ounces of steak, okay, and a little bit of beans, green beans, and I'm waiting until 12 now so that I can have my four rice cakes to go with that, and those will be my carbs for this meal. Um, just dropping down protein a little bit, I'm already feeling the hunger pains, so I kind of just go by hunger, and if I'm hungry within the two hour mark, I'll have the protein and the veggies first, and then an hour after that, then I'll have my carbs, and then that should hold me off a little bit until the next meal. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, it's it's a uh, it's already I'm already pretty fucking hungry, and uh, and we're just in day one of this process. So uh, if I have anything else to say, I will let you know. Primal nutrition, another four ounces of measly chicken with some green beans, and I've been using the sauce lately. This is so good, the boar's head. If you see this one, grab it. And I'm gonna have a couple rice cakes with that. And yes, my rock star. Yeah, All right, pre-workout meals going down right now. Uh, we got 60 grams of weighed uh, Gerber with some cinnamon and I'll add a little Splenda. And I've been very keen on this universal banana cream iso way. So I mix that up and it becomes absolutely delicious, like a little custard. So I'm gonna show you guys what it, oh, and I also add sodium to it. So I crack salt into it, a generous amount. That's gonna help me accomplish a nice pump at the gym. Um, keep the water, keep the sodium, and you'll see that you'll never lose a pump or you'll never not get a pump really at the gym. So I'm gonna mix this up and I'm gonna show you guys what the consistency is that I like. And this is probably pretty much the meal that we would be using to carb up for the show because it's very light on the stomach. I mean, this is 60 grams of carbs and it feels like you're eating two pieces of rice, so. So this is the consistency that I like. You can see it's very custardy. And the good thing about the Gerber brand is that it doesn't get chunky and gritty like the other cream of rices. This stays extremely fine. And uh, the other thing is, is that you don't have to microwave it. So this is great on the go and it just smells and I cannot wait to stuff my face in this. And after putting in nine hours on a Saturday, I get to fucking go train now. And this is something very usual. Um, it's not unusual for me to have to, if my door ever opens. Hello friend, come on. Okay. It's not unusual for me to have to go and do nine hours on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Um, it wasn't until recent, until we hired somebody because one of our employees quit. So we, we were doing, me and my partner, we were doing about 65 hours a week. And while I'm prepping, doing cardio, everything, it was, uh, it was definitely tough those, uh, those four weeks or so. Uh, got very, very tired very, very quickly. But this is, my, uh, this is what I do, you know? The good thing is that the store is selling pretty soon. So I'll have more free time to concentrate, as I mentioned, on other ventures, including the waist trainers, which I run out of the shop as well. And now we are off to infamous gym. I fucking love this gym. I started going to this gym after I moved out of Brickell. I moved back to Doral, Florida. Infamous gym is in Hialeah. You guys know what, uh, anything about Miami, you guys know that Hialeah is a very Hispanic area. So, uh, it's, a 
it's a good change and I really, really enjoy that gym a lot, a lot. So it's about a 30 minute drive or so. So, yep, I am on my way. There it is. It's infamous and it's a gym. So here it is, infamous gym. It's pretty hardcore looking gym. They play good music. It's never really that full, so you can get your workout in no problem. And I'm gonna be that guy today with all the other guys and we're all gonna fucking train without a fucking shirt because it makes you anabolic as fuck on peak week. No, it doesn't. It's, <laughs> it's actually kind of gay, but <laughs> but it, 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 makes a, it makes a good time, at least this uh, last week, uh, try to entertain myself uh, while these uh, carbs last. So today's a shoulder day. Depletion shoulder day, whatever the fuck depletion sh shit means. I'm gonna have a, a topic on that, uh, on depletion workouts, which I don't understand what the hell that actually means. But uh, that's that's later on. I'll, I'll address that topic later on. Uh, maybe in this video, maybe after this. All right, let's get it. shit it wasn't that bad but man i was i was struggling there kind of towards the end um i look phenomenal from posing and stuff like that and they have great epic lighting there but uh quickly i wanted to just address depletion workouts what is that i was under the impression that when you're dieting for a show you somewhat are depleting already and that's what causes fat loss you're at a some type of deficit of some sort, and that's what's causing fat loss. So I don't believe in all these like, oh, I'm doing a depletion shoulder routine or anything. I'm like, how about your regular shoulder routine? And that should deplete your shoulders if you're lowering carbs further. I was always under that impression. Uh, you don't have to do anything special. You know what peak week is all about? Don't fucking get hurt. <laughs> all the work that you did don't now do like a hundred sets of a hundred reps and then you tear something or or a few sets of something really heavy you got to use your brain uh i think that it's it's just something that we call to make it feel special that it's the final week peak week depletion workouts this thing that thing just stick to the basics. Just do what you've been doing the whole time. You know, if you need to lower volume a little bit, if you need to, you know, so you don't overdo it, I, I understand. But this, oh, 20 sets, 20 reps to deplete the muscle, you're depleted already if you're in shape and ready for the show when you need to be. That's all I have to say on that topic. All righty, so finally home. Post-workout meal is going to be about 120 grams of cream of rice, Gerber, obviously, and one scoop of ISO. So pretty much, again, like I said, we're keeping it very simple, keeping it very tight. These are all meals that I've been eating throughout my prep, so there's nothing that's going to be really changing much. Uh, I'm using the water that I'm allotted today, a, a gallon and a half, to fill these meals and uh and yeah this is pretty much it i have one more meal after this it doesn't have carbs in it but it only has four four ounces of protein it's almost like a bikini chick so uh that's gonna be very interesting and i'll fill it in with my specialty which is my cucumber cinnamon 
and Splenda, which you guys go nuts about on my Instagram, always asking me what the hell I'm eating. You try it, don't knock it. I'm telling you when you're hungry and you have a sweet tooth, that'll get you by on prep. I can pretty much lick nothing off this plate. That's 125 or 120 grams of carbs. It feels like absolutely nothing. And just so you guys know an equivalent measurement of 125, 120 grams of carbs, that's like eating two and a half cups of rice or two and a half cups of oats cooked. That's a lot of volume. This is very little volume with a very larger, larger amount of carbs. Uh, Per size so this is great for carb loading for a show because it keeps your stomach down but it's not so great when you're still starving <laughs> so I'm sitting in bed now answering some of your questions your guys's questions some of them are, are very good some of them are absolutely terrible and stupid <laughs> but I get a kick out of it uh, I'm just waiting for my last meal and then that's a wrap for today uh, tomorrow I work again, so I have to wake up in the morning, I got to do my cardio, and then tomorrow is a low day, which is brutal as fuck, so hopefully my weight has gone down a little bit from uh, this morning, this morning after cardio was like 185 pounds, before cardio was like 187, so I lost a couple pounds doing cardio, so um, Andrew said, oh, oh he thinks it's going to be 183 uh, I doubt it. Um, maybe after cardio to be 183. I don't think when I wake up it'll be 183. But if it is, shit, that's fucking awesome. Um, we just have to keep on continuing to to do that. At least tomorrow on the low day, it's regular protein amounts, uh, not the the half stuff, but it's zero carb. So you gotta give a little, take a little kind of thing. Uh, tomorrow I train back uh i have a back day tomorrow that's my last back day my last depletion back day yeah last uh <laughs> last back day um i touch it up during the week as it gets closer to the show but nothing major um yeah and then you know and then i just redo this every single day until i fucking leave uh, the only day that I have off from work is the day before I travel, which is Wednesday, to get all like my my haircut done and my packing done and and all that other good stuff. You know, maybe a spa day, get my toes done and get my fingers done. It really does make a big difference when you pamper yourself. At least you know you get yourself in in game mode, um, not gay mode, but game mode. I think that uh I think that goes a long way at least to get you mentally in the right in the right path going into the show. You know, going into battle, you're getting you're getting your nails done to get ready. Anyways, I'll show you guys what I eat in my last meal. It's nothing spectacular with my cucumbers and then and then it's time to go to bed and upload this you bitch. Have last meal of the night. 4 ounces of chicken with some greens and then you have some delicious cucumber splenda and cinnamon some sugar-free toppings some hot sauce just for taste and then it's bedtime with some cardio tomorrow so this is uh day one of peak week seven days out of puerto rico good night